We're going to do a brief video on BIIB, Biogen Stock News, and we've got a daily chart here for you of Biogen Inc. with a 5-day moving average in green, a 20-day moving average in red, and a 200-day moving average in blue. So let's take a quick look at this stock, and then I will show you a, a, a second chart that I think is very interesting um, concerning this stock's recent rise. Now here's a rally today. I'm putting a finger pointer right on it. You can see this stock's trading at a high today of about 180, what is that, 182-ish? And um, you can see it's gapped way up. It's up $71, almost $72 today on volume of 36 million shares, normal volume of 6 million shares, and uh, price is right around 270 right this second. So this stock's had a huge jump. You can see it actually went to a high of 283 today, currently up $71 and some change. So huge uh I don't want to call it a rally, just a huge gap in this stock. So let's take a look real quick and see what's going on. When you take a look at this stock on a daily chart, you can see that it's been in a bear market since about September uh, 21 and had good respect for the 20-day moving average in general. Some of these little rallies you can expect. The further you get away from the 200-day, the more likely you are to get a rally back to the 200-day or close to it. So you can see this stock's history is basically to sell off, go sideways, sell off, go sideways, sell off. And so we went sideways this last time all the way into the 200-day moving average and bounced down again. So these are these are negatives for this stock's outlook, and it obviously is in a bear market. What happened here, apparently, some news came out, and they've, you know, there's a blockbuster drug or whatever it is. It doesn't make any difference. From a fundamental perspective, you shouldn't be looking at charts, in my opinion. We're looking at the technical aspect of this stock, and I'm going to show you why I say that in just one minute. But when you look at this stock, clearly you had a huge rally in it today, or a gap in it today, let's call it not a rally, that's now put it back in bull market territory. But is it really in bull market? Well, from a perspective of a technical analyst, it's above the 200-day moving average, and so it's moved into bull market territory. But there's no support here, and gaps are almost always filled. I'm not trying to be negative on this stock. But gaps are almost always filled. So the first thing is we don't have any support from between whatever this that was down here, 200 bucks, all the way up to two. Let's call it 270. There's no support in this stock. So the probabilities of this stock dropping back and being filled down in this area here is very high. Not guaranteed, but very high. So that the the next thing I want to show you is this is a daily chart. Let's go look at a weekly chart of this same stock. And isn't it interesting that the price has rallied right up? to the 200 uh, week moving average. So as you can see, this 200 week moving average has been flat in this stock for a long time. I could scroll it back here. You know, we could call it from May 17th all the way through to uh, October of 21. And then you can see it's, it's trending down in a, in a bear market in this stock big time as of yesterday. So now all of a sudden we get this big release and the stock rallies this incredible amount. Now you're not seeing a gap on this chart, but of course we know that it, that it is a gap on a daily chart, but it's rallied right up to the 200 week trend line. You can see with this stock, it doesn't take a genius to look at this. Look at how many times it's gapped and fallen back, gapped and fallen back, gapped and fallen back, gapped and fallen back. In the last five years, every time it's gapped, it's fallen back. So I'm not being negative. I'm just pointing out that the history of this stock when looked at from a, from a much longer term is a history of huge movement and then falling back to where it was in general. You can, you can see here to the downside, sometimes it takes a long time for it to go back. But from the upside, it makes a huge rally and then falls back. So that's basically what we're looking at on this stock today uh, on a weekly chart. Again, not being negative, just pointing out from a technical analyst perspective um, that this stock's probably got a lot of risk in it in this range right here. And that risk is probably, you know, whatever, 270 to 212 that's probably your risk in here 60 bucks 50 60 bucks in this stock uh, could it go up to here could it go to 300 of course it could but i i think that from a technical perspective you're going to see a lot of backing and filling in this stock as you have seen before in this stock repeatedly and it'll probably uh you know from past history that'll probably take you three or four months but that's probably what's going to happen um that's my best analysis for this in my opinion only all for entertainment purposes only we, I checked earlier, we do not follow this stock at rbmresearch.com on our, on our uh, algorithmic trading systems, but we do follow 190 other stocks. We have one, five, and 20-day hold periods on these. They come out every morning before 7 a.m., and um, we cover the major stocks. 
they uh, some of them gap too so it's not it's nothing personal against against uh, biogen we just don't cover you can get all of our stocks and a lot of other things at rbmresearch.com we cover 190 stocks the most liquid futures contracts the major forex pairs and btc crypto all free absolutely no credit card required you can get them at rbmresearch.com there's a link in the description below and uh We'd love to have you sign up and take a look at it. Again, all free and no credit card required. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that as well. We'd love to hear comments from you in the comments section. If you want to comment on the moving averages and how they contribute to the understanding of a stock's movement, we'd love to hear it. Keep in mind, everything you've seen or heard on here is for entertainment purposes only. My, all my commentary, all of our entry prices can only be used for entertainment and nothing else. You have to do your own research and you definitely trade at your own risk.